everyone. Welcome back. It's Melanie, your She Shed Scrapper. Um, this is part two of the one kit for page layouts um, series that I did. It's actually only two parts, but um, I am using the Photo Play Live Free collection, as you can see here. Um, and I just thought it was kind of neat to just use the one kit and um, kind of show how different four pages can look uh, I'm using kind of the same materials and so I have pretty close to the same pictures for each of my boys um, each of them have their own albums um, one per year of their life I have had several people ask me if I plan on combining them at some point and as of right now I have no plans to combine them um, so by the time they graduate they may have 18 books each um, so we'll see how that goes um, but I just because I do the two books um, a lot of times I have the same pictures so I just wanted to kind of show how I can kind of use the same pictures, the same themes, I guess, um, but be creative in changing up the layouts. Um, so right here, I have the polka dot paper. Um, I use the scraps from part one and then just put some navy cardstock at the top. Uh, found some red, white, and blue washi tape. So I use the red and white stripes here and just to cover up um, where the two papers come together. Um, so that is that. And then I wanted kind of like a six by eight uh, piece of paper to be the focus of the layout. Um, so I decided to use these stars. It matches the star sunglasses that my little guy has on. So I thought that was appropriate. Um, so I'm going to cut this in a six by eight piece and then that way, you know, the photo fits good, um, on that. And then I had that diagonal striped, uh, plaid scrap from the first layout as well. So I'm going to utilize that and then try to decide what to back the picture with. Um, I found a piece of white scraps and then once I laid it there, I decided, you know, I think I want to um, double back it. So I use this scrap here as well. Um, excuse me. I think it's maybe herringbone. Maybe that's the wrong phrase here, but um, so I'm going to use that. Excuse me. And back it and then back it again just on the white. Um, so cutting that to back it. Excuse me, my mouth's getting dry. Um, so once I get that there, that's pretty much the like base of the layout. Um, I do embellish it a little bit. Um, but again, I've been doing a lot of mixed media. So it's kind of nice to go back to the simpler layouts for me. That's kind of how I originated. Um, that's kind of what I do the most. Um, I think over the last month I've done more mixed media than I ever have done. So it is kind of nice to just kind of go back, kind of relax and just do a simple layout. So I'm going to tape this all down and I wanted the picture to be off centered. Um, on that uh, star six by eight piece of paper. But in doing so, it kind of made the left hand of the layout kind of vacant, I guess. Um, I thought it needed a little bit something extra. So just trying to get this straight, sorry. Um, and then with that left side of the paper, what I decided to do with that um, scrap of the diagonal um, plaid is cut off part of it. Um, it wasn't a long enough scrap to do what I wanted to. So to utilize what I could, um, I cut off the part. And then 
what I'm going to do is on the leftover piece, I'm going to make it into kind of like a flag. Um, so that's going to come out of the left side of the picture um, and make it at least look like that paper carries through, even though it truly doesn't. Um, but that left side just needed something. And so that is what I decided to do. So once I get this picture down, I will add that little flag piece to the left there. Um, and then I think really it's just embellishing um, the layout. So I struggle here a little bit trying to figure out, you know, do I want it over top, under, um, and trying to get it under the paper because of the tape that was on the um, paper was a little difficult. So um, finally got that there. Uh, and then in part one, I mentioned I have the kit here that includes the 12 by 12 papers and then the sticker sheet. And then I also have the ephemera pack and I kind of forgot to um, use that in the in part one. So here it is. Um, you'll get a good view of kind of what comes in this ephemera pack. Um, so I kind of, I had, when I went through the ephemera pack before, I saw those flags at the top and knew I wanted to utilize it because that top right was a little bit plain. Um, and then I found that 4th of July tag in the ephemera as well. Um, so I actually got a phone call there. So those flags are now taped down. Um, but yeah, I wanted to use that. Um, I may get some navy twine or yarn string or whatever and tie it around the, the tag there just to give it a little bit extra. Um, but then I found this good old boy um, ephemera as well. So I use my foam um, puffy st stickers or foam stickers to raise that off the page um and then you can kind of see me going through the ephemera there at the top kind of give you a good idea of what is in the kit or in the the pack um and then i think i just add one more thing so on the sticker sheet they have these little squigglies um i don't know what else to call them not really confetti. So um, I just add, they have the lighter blue, the navy, and the red. So I just add those to the layout um, and then that completes the layout. And at the very end, you will see page two of this layout. Um, so that completes all four layouts. It was a two, two page um, layout. So thanks for watching everyone and I will see you next time.